What's good? What's quick, fit family? Live and direct. It's too much to be happy about, so smile and flex, man. Let's go. It's been a minute because I had my birthday come up, and I also have midterms for my summer classes coming up, but I'm back in full effect. So check me out, and as you can see by the title, I'm going to be showing you guys how to hit shoulders from every single angle. Check me out. What's quick fit family? As you see here, I'm doing some seated barbell overhead presses. Now, I really like to utilize the bench because it prevents you from using momentum by rocking back and forth, and you really have to keep strict form and isolate the shoulders directly. So, as you also will see in the video, I'm letting the bar stop in my chin. I'm not letting it rest all the way down at the chest because technically that would be a resting point. So I moved from doing the overhead pressures straight into doing some side laterals and reverse flies. So I pretty much work on the superior top portion of the shoulder and then go right into the lateral and rear portion of the shoulder. All right, so by now I've already hit the superior lateral and rear portions of my shoulder. So this movement here is an Arnold press, which is pretty much an overall shoulder movement. It's gonna hit a little bit of the anterior, superior, and lateral heads of the shoulder. And because I'm placing the dumbbell slightly behind the head, it's also hitting a little bit of the rear delt. So that's why I love this movement for overall shoulder development. Now, I superset this with a top range only side lateral movement. Yes, I've already hit side lateral, but since side laterals are my weak point or my lateral shoulders are my weak point, that's why I do two to three movements for the side delts. Then, as you'll see, I'll move directly into doing another set of side laterals the only difference between these side laterals and the ones that I did earlier in the set is the ones that I did earlier in the set were super setted with my overhead presses. Now I have time to recoup and I'm getting more reps in on my side delts because those are my weak points. So yes, I technically did side laterals three times within the set. So now I do another movement for the rear delts because rear delts are my lagging point on the shoulders as well as my side lateral delts. So I go ahead and do two to three movements for my rear delts as well. So I love this movement right here for the rear delts, it's called a face pull, just make sure you keep the elbows high. And then I immediately superset that with a rear delt face pull. They're pretty much working on the same muscle group, but I like the difference of angle that you can get. You get a little bit more range of motion when you're doing the TRX uh, face pulls other than doing them with the resistance band only. And then I top it all off by doing a sequence for the shoulders that's gonna include me coming out to the side coming into the middle and then raising it up for a front raise now technically this is the only movement that i have done for front delts so far however i get a lot of front delt work with my overhead presses at the beginning so i don't necessarily have to isolate those too much i really hope you guys enjoyed the video this is how you can hit your shoulders from every single angle. I appreciate you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoy these basketball clips that I have here at the end. I always like to finish off with some form of cardio. Now, of course, since I've already done shoulders, I'm a bit fatigued, but check me out on these basketball drills, guys.
All right, so I like to progress up from doing simple movements to more complex movements when I'm doing the basketball drills. So you see, I started off with just simple free throws. And then I switched to doing a between the leg to a change of direction and layup. So you see, I did that on the left and I also do it on the right. Just a simple between the legs, change of direction, and then I finish off with the layup. Now, I go on to a more complex movement next, and I actually slowed it down so you can see it. So I do a shoulder drop to a ball touch, a spin move to change the direction, and then I drive, pick up the cone, and finish up. That was the left side right there that you see, and I'll do the same thing on the right side. Now, on the next clip that you see, it's a similar sequence. What I do is I drop the shoulder, touch the ball, then move to change of direction, and then I do a pull-up jump shot. That's on the left side as well. So I do both of these sequences on both sides. And as I mentioned, the shoulder drop is to act like I have a defender on me. I drop the shoulder to protect the ball. The spin move is the change of direction. And then, of course, you always have to think about having a defender on you. So that's why I simulate that by picking up the cone. Because I'm going to have to dribble while also having the hand out to, uh, to guard off the defender. So this really more of a coordination, speed, and agility drill. I slowed it down so you guys can see it. I really hope you enjoy. So please like, share, and comment. I know I've been gone for a while, but I'm back like I never left. Social support. What's good for your family? We in this thing live and direct.